Japanese fishermen have always traveled through the night to make their journey to the Senkaku Diaoyu Islands. And so it was late in the evening that we too climbed aboard our boat. The appearance of the Coast Guard was our first sign of how tense the situation is. Plagued by activists staging demonstrations, worried about over-eager nationalists, they searched for anything, including weapons, that could lead to a diplomatic incident. Given the all-clear, we depart for disputed waters that two of Asia's largest powers have warned they are willing to go to war over. Eight hours and 170 kilometers later, we arrive. The Coast Guard is already here, ordering our captain, Nakazensho, not to get any closer to the islands. The Senkaku Diaoyu chain is made up of five islands. No one lives there today, but Naka says it wasn't always that way. In our grandparents' time, we had Japanese living here. Several hundred are buried here, too. The Chinese, by claiming it, are trying to take our graveyards away. Both China and Japan have old documents arguing this barren crop of rocks belonged to them centuries ago. But it's Japan that currently controls them. Well, we're being followed very closely by the Coast Guard. They told us that this is the closest we're allowed to go to the main island. In the past week, the Coast Guard has been given increased powers. They now have the power to arrest and the power to protect the sovereignty of the nation at whatever the cost. At one point, we had a flotilla of Japanese vessels monitoring us. They're larger ships armed with water cannon and heavier weapons. While the area may be rich in oil and natural gas, Nakazensho, our captain and a fisherman, wanted to show us just how rich of fishing grounds these waters are. With the political tensions, his son has chosen not to follow his father's line of work and instead has enlisted with Japan's Navy, its maritime self-defense force. Many people have died defending our country. I can't be the one to say my son is not allowed to go. If everybody starts to do so, then the country itself cannot exist. Suddenly, some of our escorts pull away. We're told eight Chinese surveillance ships have come close to Japan's claimed maritime border. They've become daily confrontations in a battle for this territory, one that shows no sign of easing. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, the Senkaku Diaoyu Islands.